Hey y'all, welcome to Faith with Annie. In this video, I wanted to do a quiet time Bible study with you. I'm going to quickly go over what I am using. I will be using my Life Application Study Bible. This is the New American Standard Bible. I will also be using my Jeremiah Study Bible. And this is the English Standard Version. Those will be my study materials for today. Also, I have just a plain notebook so that I can make sure I have plenty of room to take all of the notes that I want and clear sticky notes, the transparent sticky notes. And I have regular sticky notes, just regular paper. I have a cute notepad. I have my midliner pens. They're uh, dual tipped. <laughs> One is kind of like the paint tip and the other is a more narrow tip. And I just have a jar full of gel pens, glitter pens, and well, that's a Sharpie. That's not the one I wanted. My uh, Mr. Pen highlighters, they're the, they're like the gel. Yeah, <laughs> gel highlighters. I don't know why it slipped my mind just then, but yes, gel highlighters and some Mr. Pen, uh, I can't remember what these are called either, but they're super like micron markers, I guess. But I will link all of the stuff in the description below just in case you want to go check those out and maybe pick some of these things up. I will be working in 1 John chapter 2 today. So it's just a quiet time Bible study of 1 John chapter 2 going to be taking my notes and um, I will have the scripture read to you. And that's that. Let's begin. 1 John chapter 2, Christian Standard Bible. My little children, I am writing you these things so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the Righteous One. He himself is the atoning sacrifice for our sins and not only for ours, but also for those of the whole world. God's commands. This is how we know that we know him, if we keep his commands. The one who says, I have come to know him, and yet doesn't keep his commands, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, truly in him the love of God is made complete. This is how we know we are in him, the one who says he remains in him should walk just as he walked. Dear friends, I am not writing you a new command, but an old command that you have had from the beginning. The old command is the word you have heard. Yet I am writing you a new command, which is true in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. The one who says he is in the light but hates his brother or sister is in the darkness until now. The one who loves his brother or sister remains in the light, and there is no cause for stumbling in him. But the one who hates his brother or sister is in the darkness, walks in the darkness, and doesn't know where he's going, because the darkness has blinded his eyes. Reasons for writing. I am writing to you, little children. Since your sins have been forgiven, on account of his name, I am writing to you, fathers, because you have come to know, the one who is from the beginning. I am writing to you, young men, because you have conquered the evil one. I have written to you, children, because you have come to know the Father. I have written to you, fathers, because you have come to know, the one who is from the beginning. I have written to you, young men, because you are strong, God's word remains in you, and you have conquered the evil one. A warning about the world. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride in one's possessions is not from the Father, but is from the world. And the world with its lust is passing away, but the one who does the will of God remains forever. The last hour. Children, it is the last hour. And as you have heard that Antichrist is coming, even now many Antichrists have come. By this we know that it is the last hour. 
They went out from us, but they did not belong to us, for if they had belonged to us, they would have remained with us. However, they went out so that it might be made clear that none of them belongs to us. But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and all of you know the truth. I have not written to you because you don't know the truth, but because you do know it, and because no lie comes from the truth. Who is the liar, if not the one who denies that Jesus is the Christ? This one is the Antichrist, the one who denies the Father and the Son. No one who denies the Son has the Father, he who confesses the Son has the Father as well. Remaining with God. What you have heard from the beginning is to remain in you. If what you have heard from the beginning remains in you, then you will remain in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he himself made to us, eternal life. I have written these things to you concerning those who are trying to deceive you. As for you, the anointing you received from him remains in you, and you don't need anyone to teach you. Instead, his anointing teaches you about all things and is true and is not a lie, just as it has taught you, remain in him. God's children. So now, little children, remain in him so that when he appears we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you know this as well, everyone who does what is right has been born of him.
thank you guys so much for doing this quiet time Bible study with me. If you have any questions, please comment below and I will answer to the best of my ability. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so so that we can help each other grow in our faith and our walk with God. Hope to see you guys again next time. Bye y'all.